Hello everybody, I am Jer Ross, a genie vlogger, and welcome back to another Professional Genealogist Reacts. On today's video, I'll be reacting to Singaporeans Try DNA Ancestry Test by The Smart Local. This is another channel I have not seen before. Um, they do have this as a Singaporeans Try Season 4 Episode 107. So a lot of episodes of Singaporeans Try, which I imagine is pretty similar to like BuzzFeed reaction type of stuff or like the Try channel, which used to be facts where they would have Irish people try and things like that, um, which is another video I reacted to where they did DNA. So I'm expecting it's probably going to be uh, multiple people uh, on this channel. I'm guessing this is a larger channel. Um, in terms of like they have multiple, you know, it's like a team working. It's a 285,000 subscriber channel, so not like massive, but they are definitely a large channel. Now for Singapore Ancestry, I really don't know what to expect for DNA results. I don't know for one, is there a population group definition of Singapore with any of the DNA test companies, which I'm not sure which DNA test company they use. Um, the other question is, you know, it is in Asia, but are they going to get South Asian? Are they going to get Pacific Islander? Because, you know, I know it's starting to kind of get into the island. Will there be broadly Asian? Um, you know, what what will we be able to expect? I really am not sure. Um, I've never really seen Singapore DNA results. So there's only one person that I know who's from Singapore, and I don't think he's ever done a DNA test. So I'm, maybe I'll have to ask him. So this one should be really interesting because I really am not sure what to expect. Um, but before we do jump into the video, please be sure to give this a thumbs up. It really does help me out, especially with the algorithm. And also be sure to subscribe and click that bell for notifications on future videos. If you would like to get early access to some of my videos or even access to exclusive content not uh, available elsewhere, be sure to become a patron on Patreon. But now I've said all of that fun stuff, let's go ahead and jump into the video. The smart percent Thai. Okay, there's touch so she has Thai reading, but Thailand is pretty close to Singapore, I think. So Hey guys. Hello. Hi. What do you know about your family's heritage? Besides thinking that I'm a Vietnamese, I, I, I really don't know. My mother was from Malaysia. Before that, her ancestors came from Hong Kong and China, if I'm not wrong. My grandmother has shared with me before that I do have connections to India and that's yeah. as far as I know. Okay. So from my mom's side, it's like the Chinese side, but it's from Malaysia. I think my grandmother was from the island called Boyan. Wow. Yeah, she rode the boat. <laughs> <and she came. laughs> my grandmother on my mother's side is actually Chinese. She was born to a Chinese mm. family, but she was adopted. So I should have some Chinese blood. My grandfather's surname is like Yo, right? So the Yo clan is in this place called Swa Tao in like the Teochew region of China. So I once asked my father, how come you and Akong's nose so sharp? He said apparently got some German blood lah. Oh. But I'm not very sure. What do you think is your ethnic mix? Indian. I'm actually very, very sure that I am Chinese and Chinese come together. Chinese. Chinese. <laughs> part Malay, part Chinese. In all honesty, right, I don't feel there is such a thing as a pure blood ever in this world. We're not Yeah. <laughs> We're, not We're all mud blood. Yeah. He, he is pretty much right, though. I mean, even if you're, if you, even if you think you're 100% something, as you start to go back, your tree expands, your pedigree expands, and event, you know, you literally. Just hundreds of years ago, you had thousands of ancestors living at one time. So, you know, it makes sense that you have a little bit more of a mix than you may expect. Expectation low. Uh, <laughs> 75% Vietnamese or King. Yeah, 5% Chinese. Because my mom's father's from Indonesia, I think I'm a mix of Chinese, Indonesian, and German. I think I'm part Mongolian. Because I remember, right, <laughs> when you were in Mongolia, they say that the Mongolian babies, there's a mark on the butt that is blue. You have? Yeah, when I was younger, I have. Majority is Chinese, lah. My dad's side. A mark on the butt that is blue. Interesting. 
I have heard of people that do have blue skin, but I think I thought that was some weird thing. I think it's German Chinese, and uh, my mom's side is Scottish, but me is French. But this is from uh, what hearsay people tell me, like. So four weeks ago, we collected your saliva to do a DNA test. <laughs> Hey, what is this? It looks like a pacifier. Why does, does it look like a <laughs> menstrual cup? <laughs> <laughs> We're supposed to spit until this little black line. You got a lot of spit. <laughs> is it... What... Did they say what tests that they were doing it with? Because I actually... Am, I've never seen those kinds of tubes. It doesn't look like the kind of spit tubes uh, that I'm familiar with for 23 and Ancestry. And I know my heritage... And Family Tree DNA or the swab. So I wonder if they're using a different company. Uh, lots, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my mom will be trying. I'm gonna say the same thing. Now takes, twist the cap. Oh, spit takes, <gasps> but edited oh, down. Yeah, it's pretty yeah, funny. Yeah, lifting it up. Oh, came out already, is it? Yeah, try to lick it. <laughs> no, don't lick it. Cap it back up for. Oh. Bye. Okay, we put it back into the Ziploc bag. Alright, this goes in here. Wow, my saliva is all going all the way to Japan. Yeah. The results are bad. Okay, so I just had an ad, but I'm gonna go back a bit. Because I think he said they're sending it to Japan. Wow, my saliva is all going all the way to Japan. The results are bad. Now, I th if I remember correctly, I think I have heard that there is a Jap... Ja I think there's a Japanese-based... DNA company called like WeGene or something like that. I'm not 100% sure. I feel like I've heard about it before. So I wonder if that's what they're using. Okay. Ah! So today you'll find out more about your ancestry. Oh dear lord, have mercy. <laughs> Brenda, let's find out your ethnicity. Whoa. Wow, I'm wow, 69% something. Chinese lah. Yeah. <laughs> So this is kind of a cool way to present it. Six percent, understand? You alien? Yes, I am. I'm an alien. Sixty-nine percent. I think you are like Southern Chinese. Oh, are you correct? I don't know why you look like you can belong in the. The Yanxi Gong, is it? <laughs> no, I was about to say the Chinese TikTok, the fashion one. Oh, oh. I thought you can imagine being in those, you know, older drama, the way can, that one. Can can I think the ten percent is Thai. I think it's Indonesian. Thai. <laughs> Okay, now I, I'm gonna point out now. I don't know why I didn't say anything before. With Chinese, they have it broken to Southern Han and Northern Han. I don't think I've ever seen that before. So this has to be a whole different company. And I wonder if this is Weijing because I I'm pretty sure what I heard about with Weijing, it's basically the you know it's the test for people with Asian ancestry to get the more precise references. So I wonder if they're going to say it at any point. I, I, I'm really curious. That's right, in uni. And I learned like German, uh, but I also Indonesia a little bit. So I both learned only until beginner level. 5%? Mm. 5%. Eh? is German. German. Please, just give me some. No. Oh! oh! Yeah, you got a little German lad. <laughs> Does it add up to 100% though? Let's see, 21, yeah, nine, yeah, it does, okay. Happy lying to me, happy baby. <laughs> baby is unassigned. But Cambodia leh. Korean. Korean. <laughs> I'm 14% Thai Korean. <laughs> <laughs> Not only am I maybe related to like my Thai favorite titles like Brides, I may be related to like Lee Min Ho. <laughs> you already know. Like, Zifoni! Can I see my work again? Bernice, Bernice. So maybe 93% Indonesia? Indonesia! Malaysia! <laughs> <laughs> telling you something that you don't already know. Hey, why is my oh, no. different? Now you got identity crisis. Yeah, who am I? Okay, why is it 3%? Oh. oh! We are from the same place at Northern Han. Okay. I feel like we are related. Correct, correct. Ah. Scully, the 2%, you are like what? Cambodian, then we are Oh yeah, we are confirmed related confirmed. already. Scully is Indonesia. <laughs> Indo extract Bernice is from. 2%. 2%. 2%. only. Eh. So little. Honestly, like, I'm very shocked because I feel like my whole life is a lie right now. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna guess 84% is king of Vietnamese. 9% must be Chinese. Uh. Yeah, 7% now. Uh, uh, my history one. I suck at history. I don't know. I don't either. know what happened with my country one. Okay, I show the first one. Okay, sure. Oh my god! <laughs> I didn't know your hand. Sister! Please be Vietnamese. Oh That's wow, amazing. interesting. So they even have a further breakdown to Vietnamese. So yeah, they must have they must that must be the forte of whatever company they're using 
is that they do, um, you know, more specific admixtures for people with Asian ancestry. Because I've definitely never seen any of this specific breakdown with any of the other ones. Although I have not worked on a whole lot of Asian ancestry results uh, in my own work. I think that yeah. they actually can identify King 7%. 7%. Hey, well, I wish he's Korean. Like, if one day I decided to debut in Korea, then I can say, oh, I'm a bit Korean. I mean, oh, okay. Okay, are you ready? Are you ready? I'm so yeah, ready. 7%. Four, 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 seven. Five. Oh wow. my god! I hear bordering countries yeah, like yeah, Thailand yeah. and Vietnam. I guess during the time when people can move between countries yeah. much easily, this is something probably true. I, I cannot debut in Korea already. <laughs> you can go to Thailand <laughs> and be a Thailand <laughs> pop star. How are you? <laughs> no. Oh shit. Oh my god, so many. Wow, he's got a big break. I think it will be Malay and Chinese. Okay. Oh, 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 oh your hand. The other one I really completely don't know. Scarly, but I'm fat king and then how? <laughs> Then we are really related! Yes, yeah. Oh my goodness! 8% is what? <laughs> no way! My prediction is correct! We are related! <laughs> I'm gonna tell my parents and they'll be there shook as there! I would oh never have guessed. We are somehow related. You thought learning Thai already, like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean that. I can't wait to see what the 7% is. I swear it's Thai. Oh! Can't what believe. the freaking what? No! Oh, is it, they're all kind of right there. It's like... less Cambodian than you, you know? Yeah! It's so near to Cambodia. No, it's definitely confirmed it's migration one. Oh! Three? Oh. oh my god, this is as close to pedigree human as you can be. <laughs> Correct or not? Show me the 84. You wanna guess, Leah? I wanna guess, it's Chinese. Yes. Ah. Remember what I mentioned about the Mongol Empire? I'm pretty sure everybody is part Mongolian. And plus, I went to Mongolia and I resonated so well with it. Yeah, actually, speaking of the whole Mongolian thing, I have heard um, different people in different articles say that, you know, supposedly everyone of Asian ancestry uh, has um, Genghis Khan as an ancestor because of his having so many children all around Asia. Bad place. Honestly, when I went to Mongolia, right, suddenly I felt like singing. <laughs> Okay, now one thing I was wondering as we're going through the video, I know multiple people had said they believe they had European ancestry and none had had results with that yet. So I'll be curious to see how the results break down here because if this is a, an Asian-based company that does Asian breakdowns, how well-defined are their other population groups like European population groups? German Chinese is only two, right? I feel like my 35% is Chinese, 28%, right? My maternal grandma side is Burmese, right? I'm yeah. feeling it might be Burmese. 14% makes more sense to be German. 5% makes more sense to be Chinese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, so uh, more than likely, that's going to be just one big reading. It'll be interesting to see if they try to separate those two with this company. With my mom, she said something about like being English. If I go Thailand, people will speak to me in Thai. So I think 2% is Thai. I feel a lot of people say I look Filipino also. Uh, but what 2% is Swedish or Polish? Maybe Polish. How about you give the 1% to the Korean, okay? Okay, 1% what was Korean. Like Korean? Actually, now if we if we follow your ancestry like this, right, we chart the course where they come down from, right? Yeah. It makes sense that, that it's like the European trade route kind, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, we are going to analyze the trade. Yeah, now. so what if you are part Bangladesh? Because Ooh. north of Myanmar is Bangladesh. That's interesting. That's Telling cool. me wrong. We always have like <laughs> Oh, I'm Malay! Wow. Wow. They showed a lot at once. Wow. We talk about Bangladesh, we forget about the, the big country, India, Pakistan. This is not even information that I'm aware of. No, that means your family quite aware. Yeah. Now, 14%, too, that's the equivalent of a of a, of a great grandparent possibly a grandparent where you inherited a real low amount or possibly a great great grandparent where you inherited a whole lot but 
definitely somewhere in that grandparent to second great grandparent area, I would say. So that's really interesting. So I wonder if like she mentioned that to one of her parents and they'd be like, well, actually, I had heard this or I know this. Give me the German blackhead. Uh, we can safely eliminate Korean. Which okay, will make her very sad. sad. <laughs> Yeah, so for Central European, I wonder if, if this company is based in Asia, if their population groups for Europe are just going to be very generalized, which I don't know exactly with a lot of the Asian countries with like the 23andMe and Ancestry and all of those ones, but I'm, I know for, you know, they aren't as well defined as this test is doing it. But the other question is, is how accurate do they release a white paper? Is there any, you know, recall or, uh, you know, or precision numbers or, you know, is there anything to look into? Do they uh, have published studies associated with what they're defining? There's a lot of questions. <laughs> It's also like Trace. <laughs> so I'm apparently Italian and not French nor Scottish. Lies. Wow, they have it with the Tuscan, Toscan, uh, and Finnish. So they, yeah, interesting. She is a lot less European than she thought, unless this company just doesn't pick up on it as well. From my mother, honestly, it might be other side. We want it might be many generations. Very, it might be very tiny. Let's. Oh, what the heck? Oh my god, you're only 56% something there. 56% is Southern Indian. One of them is North Indian, and then there's two ethnicities which I have no clue. Oh, what if there's like British or something? Because you know, British India, like... Oh, she's right. It's not a bit. It's she's not a right. Exactly, like, it's not impossible. Eh? Hey, I'll show you how to talk. Oh my god, I'm 22% Tamil only. I'm really, really surprised that I this because my primary speaking language is Tamil, but it's 22%, and 56% is Telugu, which I did not know how to speak. Oh, but I guess also because Singapore doesn't have this in the education system. That's true, that's very true. But I don't know of anyone in my ancestry who speaks Telugu as okay, well. Okay, let's see what the rest of it is. Bengali! Ooh. Did you know that? No! Oh, and I also have Pakistani blood as well. That's really, really cool. Well, apparently, I'm a very diverse Indian. And the best part is that the, the one that I associated myself with the most, which ah. is Tamil, is 22%. Less than a quarter of you is what you think you are. Exactly! Oh my god! <laughs> Ciao! Oh! I'm very oh. curious about what the 10% is because I'm pretty sure I can guess what the 87% is. Of course, Chinese! Oh, wait. Okay, Southern, I guess I'm not super surprised by that because I'm Cantonese. So, Guangzhou. They probably speak, probably they from those Cantonese. areas. Then what the heck is the 10% you? Cambodian! Huh? <laughs> With 10%, that's about a great-grandparent. Could be a second great-grandparent. Um, I, I, don't, I don't think that'd be a grandparent. That'd be really small for a grandparent reading. But, um, yeah, th it, that, that's, that's really interesting. But it, it's kind of, you know, I still just have a lot of questions about the what company did they test with and how reliable are these results. It'd be interesting to see these compared to the other companies. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It would honestly be really interesting to see like, you know, someone doing a test with like five different companies and showing all of them, um, which maybe I should do that. I don't know. <laughs> I, to go to I, yeah, yeah, I totally and... want to go to Cambodia and see the city, see, see the country. Now you will use the Gene Life app to find out more about your ancestry results. Ooh. Wait, did they say they said Gene Life app? I'm gonna go in now, yeah? Go, go, go. Your journey starts okay, here. Gene okay, Life. So I got all my five ethnicities here. You see, they give you a pie chart. Okay, I'm gonna look into this Gene Life. Okay. So, so I did a quick look into Gene Life. Uh, it's a Japanese-based company. Um, there's not a whole ton of information out there about them. There were a few articles I saw. Couldn't find a white paper right off the bat. Didn't look super hard, so I'll have to look further. 
But if anyone has experience with this company or knows anything else, definitely comment down below. Let me know because, you know, I don't know a whole lot about, you know, with a lot of these Asian companies. I had heard of WeGene, which I think is in Japan. I'll have to look at that. Maybe I'm just associating a whole different company with it. But, um, you know, with, with these different companies based in different parts of the world, it's also interesting, it'd be interesting to see if there's any plans f for them to collaborate with other companies because, like, if they have really well-defined Asian results, the other companies have well-defined other population groups, it would kind of make sense to possibly do some sort of, you know, collaboration or something. But, you know, it'd be interesting to see if that will ever happen. So let's let's get into this and see uh, see what they offer because there's a good amount of time for the video left too and i'm wondering if maybe they'll get into genetic matches for them to show yeah. you yeah i'm gonna look at telugu first which is my majority mm -hmm. oh, i love that <laughs> the more they show kim they show me pet petty food <laughs> <laughs> before i went to do anything i screw all the way down to fun fact right and then my favorite fruit appeal here. Eh? Square watermelons are grown and sold in Japan. They're also expensive, costing as much as $100. <laughs> Modern day king people trace their origin from a mixture of many ancient tribes in Vietnam as well as people from the Middle East. <gasps> China and Japan. So I do have Japan inside me. <laughs> Where is the Central European? Let me learn more. Wow, there's a lot of CEs and BCs and everything here. I feel like I'm reading an email. <laughs> <laughs> Well, they even have like a migration map yeah, to yeah, see yeah, like yeah, where yeah. your ancestors go. Eh? Now on my maternal side, my haplogroup is F, means you originated about 44,000 years ago. See their fun fact, DNA results for females will only show maternal haplogroup to the lack of the Y chromosomes. Uh, that's correct. That's correct. Oh, in populations from East and Southeast Asia, your maternal lineage descended from ancestors who migrated from Eastern Africa. Everyone is essentially, by ancestry, a type of nomadic people. Yeah. And it's just interesting to see it finally being plotted out. Yeah. And that all these dots start to connect for me. From yeah, especially with what he's talking about, it, it especially applies to the phylogenetic trees for the maternal haplogroups and the paternal haplogroups. Um, anyone who's dealt with that, and I talked about this in my Nebula uh, whole genome sequencing video where I went through my DNA test results and I showed my Y DNA results. And, um, you know, you, you literally can trace back thousands uh, to hundreds of thousands of years up your paternal line and you're looking at it's the family tree of humanity. So it's just really cool to be able to see that and now be a part of that as well with these, you know, consumer genome tests, these consumer DNA tests. From my knowledge of these kind of DNA tests, a lot of data about Southeast Asia is not available. Yeah. But I think this gene life, right, is the one based in Asia. Yeah. So they have a lot of data in Asia. So that's something very accurate for us. Does knowing these results change anything? It makes me want to like interrogate my family right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's just easier for me to explain to people directly where I'm from in yeah. a sense. Now you can screenshot and show them. After finding out that I'm 10% Thai, this is driving me to want to learn Thai even further and meet my Thai actor relatives. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. It opens the door about discovering different cultures and different ethnicities. I guess it wouldn't impact your lives as much. But I do feel like now, I am a little bit more inclined to go to Cambodia and Vietnam. Find out more about my own heritage, where I came from, what my ancestors did, who they were. There's just so many questions that I want to know the answers to now. Thank you, Chin Lai, for making this video possible. If you'd like to take the test and find out more about your own ancestry, you can get it at a special discount by using the code T. TSL Gene Life GS. More information can be found in the description box below. Thank you for watching this episode of Singapore and Try, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. All right. Well, that was uh, that was a pretty cool video. I really wasn't sure what to expect because I really didn't know a whole lot about Singapore. Um, from what I can tell, it seems that Singapore is somewhat of a melting pot country. At one point, they mentioned that you know it had only really been settled in the past couple hundred years. Um, so, you know, and it really showed in the video that all of them had quite different ancestries for the most part, other than, you know, generally Asian. Um, it was interesting to see this, especially a whole different company, one based in Asia, this gene life, which I'll have to look further into. And, you know, it does make me wonder how are their readings with other things? Cause especially if someone is Asian, but maybe they do have European ancestry or, you know, 
some sort of Native American ancestry or African ancestry or just any sort of other ancestry, how well are there other readings? So it'd be interesting, like for someone like myself, if I took the test, what would my results be? So I don't know, maybe I should do that. That'd be kind of a fun video. Um, but otherwise, you know, it was really interesting and it's cool to see how they do break it down further, especially like in China, they had Northern Han, Southern Han. They had uh, the different breakdowns in Vietnam as well. Um, I imagine that they have a lot more specific country and region readings as well than 23andMe and Ancestry and all the other big companies that, you know, we mostly hear about in, you know, America and the UK and, you know, I think the majority of where my audience comes from. Um, but I know that there's a lot of people that watch my channel with Asian ancestry who don't live in Asia. So maybe they don't know about this company and maybe this would be a great option for them outside of the other ones. Also curious if this company has any sort of genetic matching for genealogy, what they offer there. But it was kind of funny to see that one girl that was thinking that she was gonna have some of that European ancestry, none of it popped up and the guy was kind of making fun of her about it. But you know, it, it was a little uh, it was a little interesting. The one girl that did have that big breakdown with the European in there and she just had Central European, I think they had Finnish and then was it? Yeah, it was Italian because it was Tuscan. So not a whole lot in there. I think it was maybe like seven or eight percent total, which would equate to about a second great grandparent, maybe a great grandparent. Well, thank you so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. It really does help me out. You can also click right about here if you'd like to subscribe. It's completely free to do so. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter or Instagram at Genie Vlogger. I'm the Genie Vlogger. See you in my next video.